What's up? This is Joe from Dead. You're listening to Zanzana. Yo, what's up? This is David from Dead, and you're listening to Zanzana. Hi, Dad. Thank you very much for this interview. Uh, so, uh, can you uh, um, give me uh, some words about uh, you uh, to our Tunisian uh, listeners? Yeah, we're we're dead from we're from uh, from the states, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we have one album out, been out for about a year. Done some tours with Corn, done some tours with Stone Sour, uh, all kinds of bands. We played at all the festivals over there. This is our first time here in Europe, playing the Download Festivals, Full Force Festival, a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, we're heavy, we're we're violent, uh, we're kind of influenced by new metal. Um, Fred Durst directed some of our music videos, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, we're we're new and um, and it's it's uh, it's been going really well so far. Oh, everything you said is true. Uh, heavy, definitely new. Trying to push the boundaries with uh, radio and heavy. Um, really enjoying just all the touring that we've done, like you were saying, like with Corn, Sun Sour in this moment. All the festivals. We came over here, this is our first trip, but we hit like Ireland, Amsterdam, Holland, Germany, uh, France, England. It's been it's been nuts. So, uh, first time to... Uh, is the European audience different than the American one? How is it different? It, you know what? To me, it really doesn't feel that different. Um, other than just the language barrier, like here a little bit, like when I'm talking to the crowd, it takes them a second to react to me because we don't speak the same language. But other than that, you know, it's good people that are uh, here to celebrate rock and roll and metal. And um, we're all we're all a bunch of weirdos and we all, you know, like weird shit. And, you know, can I if I can swear. Um, so it feels it feels good. I mean, we feel at home when we're at when we're at a show. Um, They're all wearing the same T-shirts we wear. We all like the same stuff, so we we feel at home when we're inside of a club or at a festival, you know. Um, and it's but but the difference is it's beautiful here. There's a lot of really cool architecture and all that kind of regular stuff that I'm sure people say. But uh, no, we love it here to come over from this far away and come here and have people know our songs and wear our shirt, wearing our shirts for our first time here. It's a really cool thing. For a long time, but people say that uh, I never knew. I, uh, I went once. I went once in in America, but I hear about that in America the, the heavy, the metal, the heavy metal has isn't the same that in in uh, in Europe hasn't the same. Uh, America is not very in heavy metal. It's not as popular right now. Yeah, just right now, and it, it has been in the few in the past. Um, it feels bigger over here, like, and it's more passionate. People are like really going hard um, over there. I think there's it's it's a lot of oversaturation. And it's not just metal. I think there's just so many things media-wise and advertising-wise coming at people. It it sends to separate people a little bit. They start finding their own, I like this and I like that. We're from a group where we like everything. And I think a lot of people over here, they like everything. So it's really cool. We, sh we should just move here probably, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would love to live in Europe. Yeah. Pick tables are a little tall, but that's okay. Yeah. But, 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 <laughs> that was an inside joke. Uh, um, But yeah, you're, you're, you are right. Uh, and it goes in waves, you know, um, as long as we've been alive. We've seen it be popular when we were young and it went away. We saw it popular again and it went away. And so, um, you know, it is coming over here. People are about, a bit more passionate about heavy music uh, or just supporting it at least because there are passionate people in, in America. We're yes. some of those people, you know, there's, there's a lot of people like us there. Um, but yeah, like the passion here is great. Um, and yeah. Um, You know, America can be a little trendy sometimes. They'll follow trends more. So like electronic music and pop is really big right now. Um, so everybody tries to jump on that bandwagon. But um, heavy music is just in our souls. And we can't, we're not gonna, we can't change for a trend. It's just not how it's gonna work, you know, so. You say that you, you're more in a new metal thing, you know, but um, can we say that you are the child of MC5 and bands like uh, New York uh, from the 70s, like uh, Iggy Pop, The Stooges, MC5? Sure. Yeah. I, I would say, I mean, I'm a big punk rock person myself, for sure. Punk rock attitude is metal. Yeah. 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 I mean, we, we, we segregate all the, uh, separate everything, you know, into different things. To me, if, you, if, it, if it's got a loud guitar and someone yelling and it's fast beat, I feel it, you know, it, it connects with me. So yeah, growing up, you know, we grew up on, we grew up over in the States. I grew up on Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. That's what my parents listened to. So we grew up with music from over here. Um, but then as we grew up, we found our own music, which was 
maybe Green Day, um, and, and bands like, you know, maybe The Clash or The Ramones, uh, as well as the Sex Pistols from over here. Um, so, I mean, really, like he, like he said, we like everything, you know? If it's good, it's good. I don't care where it's from. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. As long as it hits me in my soul, then I like it. That's it. There's times that you listen to a band and you don't even realize they're a foreign band until like you look further into them. The music doesn't sound foreign. It just resonates with whatever you're feeling. And then you're like, oh shit, that band's actually from Australia or Europe or somewhere else. And it just makes it cooler. But I think music transcends like any country barriers by, by far. Yeah. So, uh, The Dead, those, you, you, you made your, your first album, uh, that's it. You on, you have, how many yeah. albums you got? Uh, Missing Throat. It's called Missing Throat, but yeah, it's our debut. Okay. Um, so, you, you went on a direction with uh, new metal. Why new metal? Why not something more actual, like hardcore? Well, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we, we say new metal. People hear new metal a lot in our stuff. There is hardcore mixed in. Uh, we did our album with John Feldman. Um, he's the singer of a man called Goldfinger. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're more punk rock. Um, and um, so there, there's, yeah, we get classified as, as new metal revivalists, which there's a couple other bands around doing that, like Kane Hill and Siler and, and some other bands. Um, but if you listen to our album, there's a lot of punk rock and just rock and roll and metal. And um, But there there is... When we started the band, really the idea was that we, we didn't we weren't hearing a band that sounded like this band. So we wanted to make a band that sounded like this because we wanted to listen to that band. We wanted we were hoping we could go on, on the internet and find this band, but it didn't exist. So we just made it ourselves. Yeah. It was just kind of a I wouldn't say it was a choice. It was really just we just went with our gut for a minute and it wasn't like a, we didn't talk about like let's start a new metal band we just said like hey let's just make music and they kind of just i think the bounce gets like uh, you know when music's bouncy and heavy and stuff it gets lumped into new metal because a lot of metal is like metal's like like very whatever we just wanted to jump in yeah like fun and loose and slinky and just all over the place and if you do hear the cd there's a ton of different influences including hardcore and punk metal catchy there's a lot of hip-hop stuff on there we love rap like we just love anything that's good and dead started to be like a just a passion project and we just kind of went after it having fun we never really said like we're gonna do this or gonna do that and we can't do this there's even a ballad on the cd that like i actually personally said we're not gonna do a ballad before we ever even thought about writing one i said no and then we wrote one and it was like it's kind of cool though so then we kept it <laughs> so it wasn't like there, there, there is no rules to dead album two will sound probably just as crazy as the first one in its own way uh, just tell me phoenix is it uh, a hard rock metal city it's everything yeah it's, it's everything uh where we're from uh there's there's a lot of cool art 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 cultures around so there's uh indie music is really big uh dance music is really big um there are there's there's a hip-hop scene there's a metal scene there's really no scene for us we we yeah. kind of we were kind of like But we've been in bands for a long time, so we, we've been in, in, in other bands that were more metalcore, and we've been in punk bands and hardcore bands before this. Um, we've also made garage rock, like stoner, like Queens of the Stone Age music together. We just like, we're songwriters. We like to just make, create things uh, and whatever that ends up being. And so this time we created this and we got a response, really uh, 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 just a crazy response. It's exactly honestly true. Like we kind of uh, we've done a bunch of different music together, and I'm sure if somebody lined it all up, they'd be like, "What? This has nothing to do with anything." Of like, it doesn't tie up. You wouldn't even you, you wouldn't even recognize if we played them next to each other. You wouldn't even know that it was the same people making it. You know that kind of thing because we like making different things. Yeah, we like everything. It's like kind of be like a, a director of a movie doesn't do just horror movies. He's just a good director with a good vision. I'm not saying that we're that, but. That's what we enjoy doing is it's just, hey, let's just go to work and make something and be creative. Same as like a painter does a bunch of different paintings. Like, I'm sure they're all different in their own way. They have their own similar styles, but like Dead was just meant to be like no rules. So it's funny sometimes when people are like, oh, you are this? We're like, no, but watch what we do next. It's not going to sound like that. <laughs> so thank you very much for this interview. Thank and you, uh, Very nice meeting you. South Africa, right? No, North Africa. North Africa, okay. Tunisia. Damn. Well, so, 
<laughs> I made this question to uh, another American band yesterday. So, do you know where is Tunisia? Tunisia? Yeah, it's in North Africa. <laughs> of course, <laughs> North Africa. <laughs> We know. Yeah, of course. It's like my family's gone there every summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my whole life. Time, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Zanzana, l'émission métal.